Welcome to the 2017 Tour of Utah Preview Show, brought to you by the Utah Sports Commission. Utah, the state of sport, is proud to bring you a behind the scenes look at America's toughest stage race. During the next half hour, we'll show you where America's toughest stage race will lead world-class cyclists this year. Plus, we'll hear from some of this year's competitors about their most vivid Tour of Utah memories and which stages they're most looking forward to conquering. Last year, the tour took riders through the Red Rocks of Southern Utah, but this year, it's back to the lush canyons and countryside of Utah's Cache Valley. The Tour of Utah begins in the northernmost part of the state with a return visit to Cache County. Starting in downtown Logan, the site of stage one in 2015, the race will climb beautiful Logan Canyon after cresting at 7,700 feet, the race will descend into Garden City and kick off a 48-mile trip around the turquoise-colored waters of Bear Lake. The race quickly passes through a sliver of southeast Idaho using Highway 89 in St. Charles before re-entering Utah's borders, where riders hope to leave strong crosswinds behind on the short but difficult climb back up Logan Canyon. Following the speedy drop back into the Cache Valley, riders will pass the Utah State University campus as they complete two laps in downtown Logan, setting up what should be an exciting sprint finish. Even though riders may be familiar with Snow Basin Resort and the town of Brigham City, this year's Stage 2 will be historic for both places as they host the routes start and finish. Brigham City has seen the Tour of Utah pass through its charming community before, but the city known for being the gateway to the world's greatest bird refuge will host a stage start for the first time ever. Riders will warm up with a quick climb up Sardine Canyon and down the narrow road that hugs Mount Sterling's side. The course will head south and follow the Fruit Highway in Box Elder County. After a quick ride down Brigham City's historic Main Street, the race will cross into Weber County and the roads will tilt upwards with the familiar North Ogden Divide. Racers can catch their breath as the route flattens around Pineview Reservoir, but they won't have much time to relax as the double-pitched six-mile incline to Snow Basin Resort will be the first mountaintop finish of this year's tour. This year isn't the first time riders have made their way through the Heber City Valley. Past stage tour champion Eric Young reflects back on his Soldier Hollow win just two years ago. Yeah, it is the toughest, you know, stage race that we do. Um, there's a lot of climbing in the Tour of Utah um, every year. And uh, you do just kind of have to mentally treat one day at a time. Um, but it's also kind of a blessing because, you know, the days are pretty hard. So, but the fact that it is compartmentalized into different stages allows a sprinter like me to excel in one day where, you know, maybe I'm barely making the time cut on, on another day. But, you know, then I can have some success, uh, you know, on, on maybe on a day and get lucky, so. But Young definitely opening this up very early. I, I won a stage in Soldier Hollow in uh, 2015. And it is going to be Eric Young taking stage number four. Yowza, that one had to hurt. Yeah, I would say that one, just because, uh, kind of blew everybody out of the water. It was awesome. When we come back, a favorite Tour of Utah element is making its return in Stage 3. It's the individual time trial and a new feature to the race that could leave some cyclists in a cloud of dust. 